So hello everybody. Today I would like to do an Easter meditation, just um, have some time of guided prayer uh, around Easter. I've got a couple of passages, Isaiah 6 and Philippians 2, that I'm going to read and pray through. And we're also going to do communion as part of this. So make sure you've got some bread and some wine or something to hand. Um, and I'll guide you as to uh, when we're going to do that. But yeah, make sure it's you've got it to hand. So get in a comfortable position and have your communion to hand. I'll read the passage and then I'll guide us through some prayer. So let's begin. That in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne. And the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet. And with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. With it, he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. So let's just gaze upon the Lord for a few moments. Let's take in that temple scene of the Lord on the throne, holy and full of glory. And this is what Jesus left behind as he chose obedience to the Father in coming to earth. To thank you, Jesus, that you made yourself nothing, that you took the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness, that you were found in appearance as a man, that you humbled yourself to becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. So let's go back to that image of the Lord on his throne with his train filling the temple. And I've heard it said that at the time of Isaiah's writing, it was a thing for the king's royal robe to have a train. Whenever one king would conquer another king, he would incorporate bits of the defeated king's robe into his own train to symbolize his victory, his strength, his power. And God's train in this passage is so enormous. It symbolizes many, many victories over his enemies. So let's take the bread and let's hold the bread. And as you do so, bring to mind some of the victories that Jesus has won in your life. And let's just give him thanks for those victories which he has won. Let's eat the bread with gratitude for Jesus' body, which was broken and brings victory. And now hold the juice or the wine. And where do you still need to see victory? 
maybe there's healing you're contending for. Maybe there's salvation of someone who's who who you love. Maybe there's deliverance for a person or a situation. Now drink the wine and thank Jesus for the power of his blood. And let's plead that blood and that victory over this situation. Let's pause for a moment in an attitude of repentance because we are a people of unclean lips and we live among a people of unclean lips. And we thank you, Lord, that we don't have to be touched with a live coal to receive atonement that because of the cross, our guilt is taken away and we are set free. And as we hear the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Let's echo in our hearts, here I am, Lord, send me. Let's ask the Lord for an individual or group of people he wants to send us to this Easter. And is there something specific he needs us to do? And as we finish, let's refocus on Jesus. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen.